Greetings, everyone. My name is Numbers Can Be Fun, and welcome back to another playthrough of Mind Test with the Vox Libre game pack installed. If anybody missed the last stream, uh, Mind Clone 2 is being renamed to Vox Libre. So my title card uh, has been updated. Unfortunately, the title of the game, uh, they have not decided on any official artwork for the new title. So Mind Clone 2 still remains uh, in this update as of right now. But with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, a couple of things that I did modify uh, because I was having some performance issues last time. Um, <clears throat> pretty much all of the shaders and all of the mods that I installed, I removed them. I wasn't sure what was causing the issue. I think it was the shaders. But without being 100% sure and not having a lot of time to test it out independently, I just decided we'll disable everything. The game was running fine as vanilla um, with just this game pack installed. So we'll go ahead and do that. And on the last episode, uh, if you did not miss, if you did not see it, I also swan dived through this nether portal and nearly killed myself. Uh, being overly excited about going into the nether for the first time. So today I wanted to get a, a little bit better prepared before we enter the nether again and then i wanted to explore it as much as possible because it's really cool and i just felt like i didn't really have enough time with the performance issues that we were experiencing to like really give it a good proper proper exploration so we're going to be doing that today um but let's go ahead we'll t check out our farm and kind of organize our supplies real quick before we do any of that and i think all of this wheat should be grown again it is and we can harvest all of these melons nice and I think I'm going to, like, pick a new pattern soon for these melons. Because I, th I think you could just plant them, like, straight in a row. So I don't have... I don't have my hoe with me, though. So we're just... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Grab some of this pumpkin. Very nice. And does that drop pumpkin seeds? No, I got to make the pumpkin seeds. Are these growing? I don't know if they're growing or not. I'm kind of scared to hit it. They look like they're fully grown, but it's hard to tell. Hey, they are. Okay. <clears throat> all right. And we got carrots now, too. Very good. And we've got all of this awesome stuff. All right. So all we got to do... Wow, the melons grow back really fast. That was incredible. Okay. All right. So we'll grab all this real quick. We'll make some bread. Hi, Dark Raven. Hey, I think I'm on time for the first time. Ah, yes, I, I think uh, I think you caught it just at the very beginning. Hopefully, uh, none of the performance issues are going to be uh, a problem this time around. So far, when I, I play tested a little bit right before the stream, everything seemed to be running really smooth again. Um, so I think it was all the shaders and all the other extra mods and stuff that I installed. I really do want to play with that texture pack um, that one of the other contributors sent to me. I just want to make sure that it doesn't disrupt the stream like it did last time um, before trying it out again. And by the way, Dark Raven, if you've got any tips about uh, exploring the nether... This would be a really wonderful time to share them with me because I still kind of don't know what I'm doing in there. And I've got a feeling that uh, I'm going to get myself into trouble here real soon. Nice. Okay, cool. Wow, these melons grow back so quickly. Is this normal? Look at all this cool melon. Look at that. Nice. And the pumpkin's back already too. I kind of like that. I mean, like, they just regrow themselves. That's sweet. All right, and uh, we're gonna turn on F5 here. I just wanna keep an eye. As long as it stays above like 30 frames a second, I'm I'm fine with the performance. Um, if it dips below that though, I'm gonna have concerns. I got to do something about this. This is not a great like little side farm. I'm just using it because I have the space. The original idea was to put the farm on the top, but I don't I don't think that that's going to wouldn't work out. At least for now, it's not. Um okay, so let's go here and let's get all of our stuff organized. So we'll put the beetroot in here. Don't need that. Um hmm 
put the carrots away. I don't need that for now. I'm going to keep the melon. We'll make some bread. I don't know what this is definitely food. So we'll put that there and we'll put all the seeds away for now. And we'll put this mushroom in here. I don't know what to do with these blocks. I've never really seen any of this stuff, so I, I don't really know what a lot of it is. So I'm just kind of all stuffing it in the same area for now, just because I don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> all right, the flint and steel, uh, I don't think we're going to need that. So we can put that away. We'll put that in our tool chest over here. I should bring the diamond pickaxe with me just in case but we're going to try to use the stone pickaxe as much as possible and i found out too last time that you could just put two tools like this and repair them it's actually pretty awesome i wish i knew about that before because um i had a bunch of like multiple of tools and yeah wow that works really good um so i'm pretty happy with that all right let's go make that bread and then we could go explore the nether Oh, you're the worst player on Mind Test or Minecraft? Don't worry. Um, you can't be doing any worse than me. I'm sure you didn't swan dive through your first nether, nether portal and almost kill yourself. So as long as you haven't done that, you're probably doing as good or better than I am. <laughs> I will say, now that I know how to make bread and I've got this all set up, I mean, we've basically got an unlimited food source here, which is great. Between the watermelon and the bread, I think we are in a good shape for food. Which was a major concern when we first started this playthrough. Um, okay, so we'll put the food away for now. Um, I'll stick this in here, that's fine. And the fungus, I guess we could put this away too. I don't really need that or that or the seeds. The potatoes, I don't know if you're supposed to cook them. Maybe I should replant a couple of them real quick, though, just to be sure. Probably should have done this right away, but I wasn't really thinking about it. That's fine. Whoops. Oh, so I can just eat the potato. Okay, I don't even need to cook them. That's nice. Uh, we have more watermelon though, so we'll we'll keep that with us. I'll keep some cobblestone with me. We'll keep the sticks. We'll keep the extra axe, and we'll keep the shovel. I think this will be good enough to get us started in the Nether. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go back in. We're gonna explore it for a little bit, and we're gonna see if we can find something cool and interesting because uh, like I said, um, the last stream was the first time I ever went in the nether and this time we are not going to swan dive. Okay, just touch the portal. All right, here we are and we're back. All right, so let's block all that off so it doesn't become a problem. I probably should have brought some torches with me. That would have been the smart move. But let's go this way this time. It seems to be pretty well lit for the most part. I was also warned about like a bunch of like pig monster things that might be down here. Um, so we're gonna keep our eyes peeled and hopefully we don't die and lose our diamond pickaxe because that would be really sad. And uh, I mentioned this at least once a stream, but uh, if anybody's not aware, um, Dark Raven, uh, has created the music for the um, Vox Libre game pack and mind test. So if you uh, enjoy that music that's playing in the background, uh, please check out his channel. I have it in a link in the description below. Um, so by all means, it's, uh, it's really great music and I personally love it. I guess we could take some of these mushrooms. I don't know what they do yet. I don't know what any of this stuff does. I guess we'll just grab a decent stack of everything until we know what's useful and not. And I guess we can cut down this weird tree thing. Because again, I don't know if it's useful or not. <laughs> it's probably useless, but 
I kind of like these like little glowy things. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay. That was offering a lot of light. <laughs> I mean, there has to be something, like, mineable down here, though. Like, what's this? Okay. A gold nugget. Okay, that's cool. This feels like dirt of some kind. So there's definitely stuff around here. We just gotta find it. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff up there. Okay, what's that? Interesting. Uh, all right, how do we get up there? It's so dark here. I kind of, it's kind of spooky. I, I guess that's supposed to be the point, right? But, all right, what's this? So is that another gold nugget? I think that's another gold nugget. And what are you? Hopefully iron. It is nether quartz. Interesting. Just seeing if there's anything else around. Well, there's stuff over here, so I guess we could grab some of that. I'm not really sure what to do with any of this stuff, but I'm sure it's useful for something. Hi, Chloe. Yes, me too. I'm really excited that you're here. That's two streams in a row now. Also, uh, I didn't really get a chance to say this uh, yesterday, uh, but uh, congratulations, by the way. Uh, I won't mention for what, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, all right, so we found one of those, like, pig monster thing. Whoa, okay, all right, and they're coming right for me. Hi, I totally am not stealing any, oh my god, they're everywhere, and they are, no, oh my god, okay, all right. Food, where's my shield? Can you guys not kill me? Oh, man, I, they were not joking around when they said, like, watch out for these, like, pig monster things, because they are all over me. Okay. Wow, wow, okay, I really don't want to die. Ugh. That sucks. That really sucks. That, uh, that hurts. We got to go back there real quick and get the diamond pickaxe. How did I keep some of my stuff? I really don't want to lose that diamond pickaxe. I had a feeling that was going to happen, though. All right, we're just going to run in. We don't really have anything to lose. All right, hopefully I didn't die too far away. It should be just around the corner here, and I think I fell down a small ledge. Or, or not. Okay, so I think... I think I went this way. Yeah, I went to the left this time. All right, just gonna sneak in, grab all the stuff real quick, and get out. It had to be over here, right? There's that one little pig thing. Oh no. Oh no, where's my stuff? Oh no, I really don't want, out of all the things that I dropped, the diamond pickaxe is the one thing I don't want to lose. And there's a five minute timer on despawns, so we got to find it quick. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, good, 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 good. I'll take that. Where's the diamond pickaxe? All right, there's, all right, there's some more stuff. Did it fall all the way down there? I still don't have it yet, so we're going to keep going until we find it.
just make sure none of it dropped around here. I see some some things did, so the only thing I care about is the diamond pickaxe. It looks like just like all my stuff just exploded everywhere. All right, cool. Did we get it? There we go. Like I said, that's all I care about. I want my diamond pickaxe. The ATOR Corporation's greeting from ATO, official outreach and engagement channel. Cool. Well, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I probably should have checked where I was building before I built up. <laughs> How do I get back up there? Oh, so I was building in the right spot. Okay. All right. We need to get out of here before I get myself killed again. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here in the nether. And this is just going to end in disaster if we keep hanging out here unprepared. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm getting hit again. Oh, God damn it. Hi, Luna, by the way. I see you there. Let me run real quick before I die end up dying from this thing. We've got to leave. We have got to leave. We've overstayed our welcome here. <laughs> but yes, hi Luna, how are you? Thank you for joining the stream. I think this is the first time you popped in. Ooh, okay. All right, we're good, but my frames just dropped to nothing. All right, hold on. We'll, we'll give it a second here to catch up. All right, hold on. We're going to fix the frames issue again. Uh, it's it's kind of a shame. I really wish I understood what was causing the frames to drop like that. I thought if I disabled all the um, all the extra mods that I installed, that that would fix it. But now uh, we're back up to oh no no it's dropping again. All right, there's definitely something I installed that's screwing with it. So we're just gonna restart the game real fast. Sorry about this. Minor technical difficulties. I've never really liked that items drop, death, despawn makes it uh, far more stressful. Yeah, it, do it definitely does. A gravestone mod. I wonder if they make something like that for, um, for, for mind test or for, uh, for Vox Libre. All right, let's get our stuff organized real quick. I guess I lost that stone pickaxe. Not that I really care. All right, so the one thing that we did find, I, we got the gold nugget, which is good. Um, the one thing we did find that I'm curious about is the um, nether quartz. I don't know what to do with that. Hey, look at that, a gold bar. Do I have enough for two? No. Still, very nice though. We got plenty of gold. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all that gold, but we've got lots of it. All right, plenty of torches now too. The FPS drop might be related to the actual teleporting process. That's possible too. I may, I may actually go into their Discord later and ask them about it um, and let them know the issue I've been having recently. Um, perhaps one of the developers might have some feedback for me. Um, I'm sure it's a minor thing, and it's also uh, probably because I tweak the settings a lot. I tend to tinker with things that I shouldn't be tinkering with, um, and it, it usually ends up getting me in trouble one way or another. So it's possible that all of these issues are entirely my fault and has nothing to do with the game whatsoever. All right, cool. All right, so... Now that we've explored the, the nether a little bit, I guess we need to try to figure out what to do with those uh, crystals. Here's all that copper I was smelting from before. And then let's go out on a little adventure. I want to kind of see if we can find more diamonds. 
Um, that would be kind of cool. We can go back to that other spot that I was at last time. I do need a little bit more iron too to like repair all my gear. So it would probably be a good idea if we actually went out prepared. Like actually prepared. <laughs> like maybe with diamond armor. <laughs> that would be really nice. Also, what if you try to decrease the view range? That's possible too. I had increased it um, just because it was a little too short for me originally. Um, but I mean, that's possible. That's where the frames are dropping to. I mean, it's probably trying to load in a lot of chunks all at the same time. And I'm not sure how well optimized this game engine is, um, to be able to handle something like that, especially with a game pack or a mod installed. I will say though, this is the very first issue I've had, uh, with mind test or the Vox Libre. Um, wow, that's cool. I didn't even know you could see all that. Look at that. Well, well, we'll keep that on for a few minutes. I don't know what why it's on there now, but that's cool. Now now you guys can see some performance stats. <laughs> Packets lost. Well, it shouldn't be any. All right, so I think this was the little cave we went into last time where we found the diamonds. And we're just going to go back in there and explore and see if we can find some more. And we're not going to waste our diamond pickaxe on that. We'll We'll use up the rest of this iron one. All right. All right, so this is where I found the obsidian and the diamonds last time. I guess we could turn that off. We don't really need that on. Um, hey! Chief Wiggins brother is still hanging out down here. All right, so we found the diamonds around this area. I just kind of want to dig through a little bit and see if we can find a little bit more. Ooh, what's this? What is that? What did I just find? I got experience for it, but I don't see anything added to my inventory. Oh, it's, oh, it's redstone. Okay, all right, awesome. Um, definitely want more of that. All right, so we'll dig around here a little bit further. I'm just kind of curious. We're going to find anything else. Don't want to miss any diamonds. And if we don't find any more here, we'll, we'll just dig around um, and start exploring the rest of the cave. I knew that was coming. And we should probably dig all this out too. I didn't even get a chance to look over here last time because we kept getting surrounded by all those mobs. Yep, and there's one right there. Hi. Ah, the little baby ones. I really don't like you. You are the worst. Get away from me. We are not friends. There we go. I'm getting better at this though. Uh, only slightly. Wow, what the hell? There's so many of them out of nowhere. All right, eat, run. Well, I guess I'll just kite you guys around for a minute here until I figure it out. What the hell? <laughs> They're just coming out of nowhere now. Okay, we got rid of the zombie. The the two little blobby things I'm not too worried about. Let's just kind of keep going. See if we can get outrun them. Oh, there's more zombies over here. Okay, we're not going to be in good shape if we keep messing around. All right, can I sneak past you? No, I can't sneak past you. Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> I just want supplies. Cobblestone deep slate. I don't know what that is. Oh, I trapped myself. <laughs> All right. I think this is how we got out of it last time, but... Hmm. What is spawning all of the... Oh, there's some iron. You know what? 
Blessing in disguise. At least we'll grab the iron while we're here. Yeah, a lot of the, the rules of this game um, are are heavily based on uh, on Minecraft. So um, it does follow the meta pretty closely. What I will say, though, is that they have made some changes. Um, the developers do kind of want to... Uh, make some changes that they feel would be beneficial um, to the overall gameplay of, um, of I guess, like these Minecraft-like voxel games. They, they don't see Minecraft as a perfect solution, and I can understand that. Um, so they've decided to make their own version that fits better with what they think is a better gameplay experience. Like, for example, I guess in Minecraft, I'm not sure if this is true or not because I don't play Minecraft very often, but I guess you can't just repair tools by putting two next to each other. I could be wrong about that. I don't even, I haven't played Minecraft in years. Um, but I know, like, I remember somebody mentioning something like that and that it's something that you can do in um, Vox Libre. Oh, wow, there's a lot of iron around here. This is great. Okay, so we may not have been able to get all that gold that we were looking for a second ago, but, you know, that's fine. I'll take, I'll take the wins where I can get them. Bam. Pro move. <laughs> yeah, doubt, doubtfully. All right. One more. Yeah, me too. I'm really excited. With the name change, that was like the first big move. It they really wanted to separate themselves away from uh away from Minecraft in general. So that was like the big motivation for changing the name um from Mind Clone because obviously they don't want to just be a clone of the game. They want to do more with the project than that. So and I, I can respect that a lot. So I, I wish them the best of luck um, because so far, at least from what I've played, I've really enjoyed um, at least this version of the game that they've come up with so far. All right. Very good. All right. If we can find a little bit more iron, I think we'll be in good shape here. Six pieces so far. I do need a new set of pants and I'll need enough to repair my gear, but... See, if I go down there, I'm just asking for trouble with the slime, so... Maybe we could just use the water to kind of just swim around. How deep does this water go? Oh, wow! It's all the way out in the ocean. Oh, I remember. I think we checked this one out last time, or like on one of the first episodes. I think this is where I got the gold blocks. But we'll run inside real quick and we'll check it out again just to make sure. I also just want to be careful because it is dark out and there's going to be lots of mobs spawning. Well, thanks for stopping by, Luna. I appreciate it so much. Hello again. Tried, uh... What, what was that? Node core? I have not tried node core yet. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the one that we went to already, and I broke into it, and I guess there's still some blocks hanging out there. Um, I don't know why they're still there. I thought things despawned after a couple of minutes, but okay, that's cool. All right, so there's nothing good for us over here. I think I left a boat over here. We should probably go grab that, and then we'll we'll head back. I really hate being out here at night because I always end up doing something dumb and getting killed. <laughs> oh wait, is that that little shelter I built that one time? I remember this. Yeah, I built a shelter over here and didn't have a bed or anything. And yeah, there's here's my three leftover boats. 
from venturing over here. So you know what? We should do more of that though. We should have like little um like little pit stops all over the place. Especially since I, I have a tendency to die all the time. Might not be a bad idea. Oh, there's a zombie. Yeah, so I had it all set up. I don't know why I abandoned it. I, I'll go back there and we'll we'll figure it out real quick. Kind of curious. It is dark out, so I don't want to get killed, but... What is this? Whoa, this is cool. What is down here? Instantly distracted. That is me. I see something interesting. I'm just going to go... Ooh, I want to check that out. All right. Torch. Put one here. What do we got? Copper. Copper. That's fine. I want diamonds though. Can I get some diamonds? Oh, I also remember somebody told me to try to keep all my torches on one side. That way if I get lost, I know that I'm not backtracking. So if you keep them all on the left, for example, if you're walking right, if they're on the right hand side, that means you're going back the direction you came. And if they're on the left, that means you're going the wrong direction. So I'm going to try to try to follow that advice because I, I do get turned around pretty easily in here sometimes. Nice. I still haven't really found out too much to do with the copper yet. What's down there? Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot of lava. I also wonder if that means there's a lot of diamonds down there. There is a decent amount of water. I'm kind of scared to just jump down there though because I can't really see anything properly. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find a way down there that isn't super dangerous. Yeah, that's just a sheer drop right straight down to my death. Are there differences in spawning based on the day-night cycle? I think it's all pretty standard. Um, I don't think there's too many differences. The one thing I will say about the mobs that is vastly different that I noticed immediately is how quickly they will target you. And not only will they target you, I think they can see you through walls too. Um, like I've opened the door a few times and seen a bunch of mobs just like pushing up against the walls, trying desperately to get inside of my shelter, and they just can't because they're obstructed. So they're not smart enough to give up or move around. They'll just keep walking straight into the wall. Um, all right, so I think we made ourselves down here well enough. I see something moving in the corner, so I just want to make sure we're not going to get killed. But hey, more iron, exactly what I was looking for. Nice. All right, we're going to try to stick with that theme of keeping the torches on the left here. And I think... What was that? I don't like those random scary sounds. Whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 chill. Go up on the water. He's going to have trouble climbing on that. I can't believe my health was so low, too. I, I didn't even notice that. Wait, what is hitting me? I'm getting shot with arrows, that's why. Alright, we'll be okay. As long as the archer can't get me from over here. And the zombie baby can't get me from here, we'll be okay. Well, I was wondering what that zombie noise was. At least now we figured it out. Mystery solved. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to be cheeky about this because you don't you don't play fair anyways. So I guess the um, the watermelon doesn't really heal me for very much, which kind of sucks. I was hoping it would it would be a little more uh, fulfilling, but it is what it is. All right. So being a little bit more cautious than what we were a second ago, let's proceed and try to grab the rest of these supplies. Yeah, so I remember seeing this kind of stuff before when we found the diamond. So hopefully we're down far enough 
where they'll, they'll spawn and they'll spawn easily so we can see it. All right, I see iron over there. I don't really see, okay. See, I'm a little nervous about this because I'm guessing the floor is made of obsidian at this point, but it's still a little nerve wracking for me to kind of be so close to this lava. All right, let's grab all that iron. Still haven't found any more diamonds though. Bye, Chloe. Thank you so much for stopping in again. I really appreciate it. Oh my god, the frames. The frames. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, this was a bad time to, to be dropping frames. Alright, we're just going to sink to the bottom. And I'm going to restart the game real quick. Because that's my only solution until I figure it out. I guess I could try tinkering with the settings real quick. Um, maybe I'll take Dark Raven's suggestion there and... Perhaps. Oh, wow. There we go. Alright, so exit to menu. I'm going to try decreasing the uh, view distance. And hopefully that will, will fix this once and for all. Because I, I really don't want to have to restart the game 500 times in the middle of a playthrough. So, graphics... Maximum FPS, view range. Let's go ahead and we'll just drop this down to 200. We'll set that. And hopefully that will fix the issue. And then we, we won't have to do this again. All right. Well, so far, so good. All right. We'll grab all this copper. Grab some of this coal. I was really hoping we'd find diamonds, but I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's gold over there. We should grab that for sure. And I think there's some iron on the wall over here. It looks like it. I can't really tell, but yeah, that's what it is. And there's some gold here. Very nice. Oh, I lost the gold piece. Well, that's no good. There's more over there, but I'm just, I'm being as cautious as I possibly can. Because I really don't want to be messing around with this lava. It seems like it goes for quite a bit. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I wonder if I can make like a little bridge here like this. I'm going to just get myself in trouble, aren't I? Yeah, this is like a lava water. Oh, there's redstone over there, though. Okay. We're going to be a little bit risky, but if I die in the lava, that means all my stuff is going to be destroyed. So we're going to do this as cautiously as possible. Okay, come on. I guess the, the title of the stream wasn't as accurate because it wasn't really into the nether. It's more like prepare for the nether by trying to uh, get a bunch of diamonds and stuff. And I want that redstone because I've been messing around with redstone. And while I'm not going to sit here and pretend for a second that I'm any good at it, I'm getting better. I, I made kind of an auto farm the other day. Uh, I was a little proud of it and only like got half of my crops automatically farmed with the water but it, it did kind of work, so that's better than nothing. Okay. Very carefully now. We'll make our way over there. Grab that redstone. Very nice. This turned out to be a nice little egress that I made for myself. Oh, 
Oh, I really like the music for this. Very creepy. It's definitely fitting. Can I safely drop down there? I'm not even going to risk it, especially with all this lava around. Why, why even take the chance? Oh, good. There's more redstone here. Ah! Okay. I guess I got extremely lucky there. Oh, I can also press plus or minus. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that would have saved me a lot of trouble a couple seconds ago. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me know, though. Um, yeah, next time I won't even need to do that. Oh, my God. We have hit the redstone mother load. Oh, this is great. I mean, honestly, I've never really found redstone naturally before. Um, so this is pretty cool. This is a lot of it, too. I don't think I'm going to need redstone for a little while. This should be plenty for at least to get some basic stuff started. All right. Grab that iron. I'm still not seeing any diamonds around. Just kind of move some of these blocks around. I think we need to get out of here, though. This is a very dangerous spot to be in with all this lava. <laughs> but we've done good. There we go. Almost out of here. All right, well, I say we keep exploring just for a few more minutes. See if we can find some diamonds. We got lucky last time, so I'm hoping we get lucky again. Oh my god! Oh, these goddamn creepers! <sighs> Every time. Every single time. <laughs> He almost got me too. <laughs> that was almost the end of that. Oh wow, look at all that gold. Oh, no worries. Uh, if I, if you guys ever do hear me go silent, um, I think I've mentioned this in another stream. There was one that I did. Um, I ended up deleting that stream obvious, for obvious reasons, but I went through the entire stream with my microphone muted. So you saw all this great gameplay of me playing the game in absolute silence. <laughs> it was deafening silence. Okay, there's that archer that was getting me before. Let's not aggro him. And let's try to find a way out. Alright, there's more iron up there. I'll try to see if we can swim up to the source block at least. Uh, no. I think we came in this way though. We just have to go a little higher. That's got to be the source block for it. Okay. Alright, how do we get out of here? I have no idea if, if I'm even going the right direction now. <laughs> I feel like we came down here from up there. I think that's how we got in here. I'm already lost. Whoops. Well, at least we found some iron along the way. I thought, I thought that was it. Or maybe I just need to go a little bit higher. Oh, geez. Oh, now I can't see anything. Hmm. 
We gotta be close. Well, there we go, dropping frames again. I wonder what's causing it. Now I'm very curious. There's something causing these frames to drop, and it's not the view distance. Angry silence numbers notices. <laughs> I like that. That's actually pretty funny. Um, all right. I'm just going to do this one last time. I'm going to check one last setting. I'm going to look at the particle effects because one thing I did notice is when I'm mining, there's a lot of particle effects that are on. So I, maybe it has something to do with that. So I'm just going to look real quick and just make sure that these are, yeah, let's set that. Let's reset that back to normal. We'll just go back to default on that. And then I don't know, whatever that is, we'll set to default. Default, default. Yeah, there we go. Maybe that's what was doing it. These part, a block particle detail level. Let's see if that fixes it. Maybe that's what's been going on this whole time. Like I said, I went into the settings and I tweaked a bunch of stuff and it worked very temporary. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. Now we're, we're, we're doing okay. And I think we made our way out of the hole too. So <laughs> that's always progress. How did I miss that little piece of iron over there? Hello. Hi. There we go. Cool. All right. Um, I don't think we're going to find diamonds down here. Oh, this seems to be running a lot better now. Yeah, at a solid 59 frames. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. And is it morning yet? <laughs> Looks to be like kind of either dusk or dawn. I'm not 100% sure. Wow, there are a lot of mobs over there and I just aggroed all of them. That is wonderful. What a smart thing for me to do. <laughs> Yeah, I'll talk to the devs about it, too. Um, I, I'm pretty sure... Oh, my God! Again with the goddamn creepers! <laughs> yes, I will ask the devs about it, too. I'm very curious. Um, good thing there's three boats over here, because he just straight up blew up that boat in its entirety. <laughs> um, but I think that block particle effect is really what was doing it. Whoa, you are right up on me, huh? We need to get them into the boat. Oh, wow, wow, wow. There's a lot of you guys. Yeah, we're just going to keep going this way. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. I know there's two other boats over here. We're almost back to safety. Come on, guys. Really? Could you just chill? <laughs> ah, oh my God, with the creepers. Where did he even come from? This is, this is horrible. This is what I was talking about with the mobs, by the way. Like, they just V-line straight for you. They're very sneaky. I feel like they're very cheap. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. Maybe, maybe I am. But, holy crap, they are, they don't play fair. All right, let's, let's get back out of here. Perhaps it wasn't the view distance that was the issue to begin with. So maybe I could turn this back up to 250 again. Or I had it at 300. Let's keep it like this for now. All right, I think we're almost there. What is that? Oh, is there another underwater temple thing that we just found looks like it i'm gonna jump down there real quick and just see if there's anything good there is a chest there's emeralds in here um let me grab some air real quick i'm gonna need to dump something out of my inventory before we do that uh i have a chest this is what we'll do. Why is my <laughs> avatar all off center now? Wait, that's a shovel. That's an axe. There we go. All right, we'll drop down there. We'll grab those two emeralds. I guess we're going to need those. 
uh, for trading. I haven't found any villagers yet, which kind of sucks. So I haven't been able to do any of that, but that's all right. Hey, there it is, home. You could tell by the giant large nether portal <laughs> sitting on the top of the castle. <laughs> sweet. Home, sweet home. I think I left some stuff down here too. I, I shouldn't be messing around too much outside at night, but yeah, I did leave a bunch of supplies. I knew it. Look, there's that enchanted book. All right, we're going to have to come back here and grab all that stuff. Thankfully, it's right outside my home. Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's get all that iron smelted up so that we can craft some proper stuff. And if anybody knows what I can do with the enchanted book, that would be super awesome um, because I have no idea what to do with it. You know, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I should build like a little fortress there uh, with a bed. That way, if I die, I respawn in the nether and I don't have to, like, go so far to get, to get all my stuff back. Look at all these cross... I should have brought one of these. Why didn't I do that? I have all this awesome stuff and I didn't do anything with it. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll take that. You can go here... What is a prismarine crystal? I didn't even know I picked that up. I guess we'll put the uh, the redstone in here too. I'll grab that. Grab some coal. And we'll put the rest of the blocks away. Alright, that can go there. And potato, we'll hang on to those. The watermelon's turning out to not be as great as I thought. Oh, there's my there's my bow. It just despawned, that's all. Okay, so I still have an extra bow. And there's the rest of that redstone from before. So we can put that in this box over here. Nice, okay, so now we have two and a quarter stacks of redstone, awesome. All right, all that iron is done. We'll do the copper next. And let's check on the farm. Ooh, the farm is ready. I love that all this stuff grows back so quickly. Uh, bread seems to be the way to go. Your house feels really authentic. Partly uh, the textures, of course, but it feels snug. And a glimpse of a get out of the view outside. Yeah, so the reason why I picked this location is because this was all part of a mountain. I actually hollowed like out a good chunk of this part. Um, and then I quarried the rest of this down and turned it into my little farm. So that way I have like these kind of natural walls around here. Um, and this was all part of the mountain originally. And I like dug off the top part of it to, to give light to the farm. I think that was under, um, I can't remember which stream title it was. It was under Food and Fortresses when we finally built that all up. Well, I'm glad we got this all set up though, because uh, with the amount of bread that I've been going through, <laughs> it's um, rather obvious that I'm going to need all this stuff. All right, that's way faster if I just go in a straight line. Okay, and... Oh yeah, this is now, now we're working efficiently. <laughs> well, if I don't miss the spots. All 
All right, that's pretty sweet. I think we're in good shape here. Let's make some more bread. We'll put away the rest of our materials and then we'll try to make some, some iron stuff. Let's see here. What do I want to put away? We could put that in there. Materials. I'll grab all that. This can go in there. We'll smelt the gold too. Oh, I did have a piece of raw iron in here. I should have grabbed that earlier. Dark, dark prismarine slab. Interesting. I really like the music on the background. Yeah, I wonder who made all that music. Would it be, uh, would it be Dark Raven? <laughs> all right, there we go. And let's go ahead, we'll craft a new set of iron pants. And I can't really repair any of this gear, so we're gonna need a new chest. Uh, I, we might as well just get all new gear. Yeah, let's just make a brand new set. And then we could repair it along the way. So we'll just keep the... Oh, that's not... Uh, yeah, that's not it. There we go. A helmet. A chest piece is like this. There we go. And then what else do we need? We need... The boots. And I think it's one, two, one, two. Nice. And then where did I put those sticks? Yeah, I don't think the frames are dropping anymore. I think, I think it was those particle effects that I had turned on that was screwing us over. Where did I put all those sticks? I must have put them in a box somewhere. There we go. Can I make a copper pickaxe? No. Okay. I figured I'd try. I don't know what we can do with the copper yet, but we'll make another iron pickaxe. That way we don't have to use our, um, our diamond pickaxe all the time and we could save that. Okay, I guess take that off here. And then we'll put this in the tool chest and we'll try to repair them later if we can. There we go. Sweet. All right, you can go in the tool chest. Shepherd's staff. I think you're supposed to use that to lure sheep or something. I think. Somebody was telling me about it before. All right, cool. Now that we're all set, let's make some bread and then we're gonna go try to find a few more diamonds and then for the last part of the stream, we will go back into the nether one more time and see if we can get some good materials and just kind of explore around a little bit now that we're hopefully gonna be a little bit better prepared to deal with the nether and I also know what to look for as far as the mobs are concerned because I didn't even know what they looked like. So I was kind of like a little unprepared and not sure what to expect. I think I, of course, I could be wrong. That track was made uh, by a composer named Ludwin. Okay, all right, well, credit to him. I appreciate your honesty, sir. Uh, all right, we'll put that there. I don't need these two boxes, so we'll just store those in here too. I just wanna try to keep my inventory light. And we'll grab a little bit more wood for the sticks. We'll bring a stack of this with us. So eight sticks. That way we have some materials. And I think we'll keep the diamond pickaxe behind this time. We have an iron pickaxe and I have a way to make more iron pickaxes. So I think we'll be okay there. 
Uh, we'll eat some of this watermelon. And then, what time is it? We should bring the bed with us just in case. Our emergency bed. We'll get a quick look at the time out there because it might not be the best time for us to leave. I'm kind of disappointed with how little this melon slice actually heals me. It doesn't really seem to be doing the best job. Uh, okay, yeah, so the day's almost over. We'll, we'll mess around here for a minute and then we'll, we'll go inside. Maybe I should make a full set of iron tools too. Just so they last a little bit longer. I mean, the stone tools are okay, but they're not great. These trees need to come down. This is the reason, one of the reasons why I fell down before in the last stream. I said I don't need that. And we're going to run away from it. Uh, okay. Still some leaves that didn't despawn. I love this thing. This is so convenient. I'm just going to go down there and pick up those materials I left in the chest down there. Yeah, we'll grab all that. Thank you. Back up. Back up the thing. There we go. Hurrah. Hey, what happened? What happened to my minecart? How did you get stuck in the ground like that? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing... Oh wow, it is like stuck there too. I can't even mine this block. That is crazy. So how do I even fix this? My minecart is gone. Oh wait, there it goes. No, no, no. Come on. Out. There we go. So how do I... Alright, you know what? I don't have time to mess with this. We gotta get inside. Interesting glitch. That is the first time the minecart just like ran off the tracks randomly. Maybe it's not a glitch. Maybe it's intentional. Oh, I see a little zombie over there. Come on. Time to run away. Yeah, I think um, now that we've uh, played for a little while longer... You can't sleep now. Monsters are nearby. Can't sleep now. What? I'm in my house. There are no monsters here. I didn't leave any of the doors open. Is there something upstairs? Weird. It's a feature, not a bug. Yeah, there you go. It's just a way to stop your minecarts a lot faster. Oh, this is annoying. Well, of course there's monsters nearby. I mean, that's part of the game. Can't sleep now, monsters are nearby. <sighs> Frustrating. Um, all right, what if I put my bed down here and we did that instead? Can't sleep, the okay, all right. I guess for some odd reason, there's a monster way too close to the wall. That's what I was kind of mentioning a few minutes ago too. Like they do definitely like just kind of press themselves against the wall like this and just kind of keep stalking you even though they shouldn't be able to see you through the walls. Oh god, I can hear all of them dying out there. Gunpowder. We'll go back to our block chest here and put all this back and keep that. Now there's something like right outside the wall there. Put the flour in. The wheat can go with the food. That's not food. I did find this enchanted golden apple. I've been saving it. I don't know what to save it for, but I figured it was useful. I'm going to take one of the crossbows with me too. All 
All right, now I feel a little bit better prepared. Uh, maybe not the crossbow because I've never actually once hit anything with the crossbow. Um, grab the arrows. We're gonna take the bow instead. All right, so we've been in a couple of different directions now. I think we're going to try to pick a whole brand new direction and see if we can find something interesting. And then we'll head back to the nether one last time. Can I have my minecart back, please? I guess that's a no. All right, Chief Wiggins, are you ready for another salty adventure? Out in the open seas. Oh, look, it's your brother. <laughs> He's not as cool as you, though. Because you get to ride in my boat. All right, so we've already been over there. We messed around there a few times. Let's go over this way. Let's see what's over on this side of the world. That's a cool looking fish. I see something in the distance. A new island to explore, perhaps? Will we find riches beyond our wildest dreams? Or will we find more death and disappointment? Probably the second one, if I had to guess. All right, we'll go around this way. Oh, these are really tiny islands. I can't believe we spawned in such a, a cool little, like, island area. Oh, there's another water temple. Let's go down there real quick and check it out. There's a couple around here, too. There's a couple of interesting structures. Okay. Um, all right. So about here. I think that's good. And we'll just pop this top right open. And head. Whoa! Head inside. Yes, I'll take all that. Thank you very much. Oh, what is it filling with water? <laughs> it's kind of cool. All right, and we'll go down here and we'll see if there's anything on the bottom. I don't know what this stuff is. I'll take it, but I don't see anything down here. All right, we got to get back up to the surface before we drown. That was a nice little find right off the rip. Ow. Okay. Have some bread. We're good. Let's see what this one is over here. Okay. And full stop. I'm kind of shocked how frequent these are. Ooh, Curse of Vanishing. I don't know what that means, but I'll take the Emerald. I think that was the one we just went to a second ago. So I'm going to ignore that. There's another structure over there, though. There's so many. Okay, well, back in the boat. It's so cool that they added all this underwater stuff because I remember that the ocean was used to be like really boring and there was nothing interesting like to do in the water. So you just avoided it. Oh, it's really dark down here. I can't even see anything. All right, we're, we're going to skip that one just because the light level is too low. And we'll head over here. Oh, this looks cool. Interesting little spot we've discovered. It's at least a lot flatter than the other islands that we found. And there's a ravine right here. So let's go inside. Does it go anywhere? Or is it all exclusively underwater? I think it's all underwater, which is not going to be a good thing for us. 
Yeah, no, we're not going to mess with this one. Just because I don't have any thing that will prevent me from dying under the water very quickly. Where does my boat? Great, I've been here for three seconds and I already lost my boat. I got way too excited. As per usual. I think I landed on the other side, that's why. <laughs> I think I, I think I just jumped over the, like, the thing. I was like, ooh, look at that. Let's go. <laughs> All right, nothing here. Let's find the next island. Oh, this looks cool over here. Let's ha uh, let's head over there. Um, all right. That's front. And that island looks kind of cool, so we we might check that out too. All right, so where did we end up landing here? This is kind of a pretty area. If we're going to build a secondary base, this might not be a bad spot. And at least we have the bed here, so... Did I bring the bed? Oh, no. How did I forget the bed? Oh, terrible. Okay, I guess we're going to have to kill three of the same color sheep because you can't mix the wool, which kind of sucks. This is really pretty, though. All right, how do I get the honey? I would really very much like to get honey. Can I just right click on it and harvest it? No. Nope. Last time I destroyed it, so I didn't want to do that. Oh, I really like this place. This is really nice. Interesting. What is this? That is so cool. Look at the way that generated. Hold on. And look at it from the side here. If I jump down into the water, that is so awesome. It is a floating island. Island. I mean, it's not technically floating, but I mean, I mean, come on. That is still cool. All right. I don't want to swim too far away from the boat. So we're going to head back towards the boat. Hey, there's a dolphin. Hello. And this, this didn't pan out as well as the last couple of times that we went island hopping. I was hoping we would find like a cool ravine or some more iron or something, but I don't know. I guess luck's not on my side today. At least now we know to skip these, at least for now, until we, we get more stuff. Well, there's one sheep. That, uh, a one sheep, a bed does not make. All right, there's two, but they're the wrong color. I need three of the same color sheep. Or we could just go back home. That's also an option. There are two black sheep. Hello. All right, um, I guess I guess we're just going to head back and then we, we'll go and explore the nether one more time. It's already starting to get dusk. No, no, I did not want to shoot my pig. Please don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chief Wiggins. That was, I promise, that was an accidental misfire on my part. All right, um, how do we get back? I think we came this way, but I could be completely wrong. Watch, we're going to get lost in the ocean. That's going to be the next part of this episode. <laughs> It'll be the Odyssey. My own retelling of it. Yeah, I definitely do like the, the floating islands. I kind of wish I turned on the float lands uh, when I spawned this, but I wasn't really sure if I wanted that in my game or not because I've seen it look kind of weird sometimes. Okay, so, whoa, what is that? 
There's a bunch of this stuff over here. I'm going to bet that we did not ever open this one up. So we're going to go inside real quick. Little pit stop. Yes, we did not. Whoops, I got stuck under my own boat. Oh, wow, there's a lot more gold in this one. I guess since these are giving us crystals, I want to take that too. I don't know what it does, but we'll figure that out later. Hop down here real quick to see if there's anything under the water. There is not. Hey, where's my bo oh. Hey, Chief Wiggins. All right, let's get out of here. Even though I have no idea what direction we're going in and it's pitch black out at night. But hey, at least we're in the boat so we can outrun any mobs that came to us. Floating islands are super cool. Also, the pig's expression while calmly sitting there. Yeah, I love I loved that this little pig um, came back into my boat. I lost, I lost the first one, though, unfortunately. So I had another pig in my boat. Um, and this was actually, I believe, the first time that Dark Raven ever checked out one of my streams. So I was going along, and I accidentally touched a waterfall with my boat, and I couldn't save the pig and he unfortunately drowned in the water while I was like panicking and trying to figure out how I can save him and I don't recognize any of this I think we are super lost none of this looks familiar to me if I could see one thing that like is reminiscent of where I've been before we'll be okay but I feel like I feel like we need to go this way, but I I don't I don't know. I none of this looks familiar and I can't get my bearings straight. Well, some nether episode this turned out to be. Oh, I know. Chief Wiggins won. <laughs> We we found it we found a replacement, but you know, there's still always going to be a hole in my heart for the first one. Oh, just a random sheer cliff face. I don't recognize this at all. We must be going the wrong direction. I probably should have... The smart thing to have done would probably to be have written down my home base coordinates. Um, so I know if I'm traveling in the correct position or not. But I guess... Until it turns light out, we can just kind of sort of just explore a little. What is that? I can't even really tell what it is. It's so dark. It's not my home, so not as interesting. I don't remember seeing any of this stuff. We are definitely lost. All right. Note to self, don't go exploring on the ocean in the middle of the night because you, <laughs> you can get turned around too easily. Oh no. Well, at least we got food, supplies, and our best friend, Chief Wiggins, with us. There's a Hallelujah mod, uh, I'm sorry, a Hallelujah Mountains mod for Sky Islands. I thought that's something that I'm going to have to check out. Thanks for the heads up. Okie dokie. I don't, I don't recognize any of this. We are definitely lost. That's right, Chief Wiggins. You tell them. You tell them how lost we are. Well, I guess since we're here, we'll just take a quick pit stop and just check out what's down there. I mean, that's cool. Oh, cool. We found another golden apple. 
So it's not like we're wasting our time here. It's just we're really lost. This is not how I wanted to spend the last half of the stream. Getting lost in the frickin' ocean. <laughs> is that the one we just went into, or is that a different one? It looks like a different one. Well, we're gonna be rich. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all this gold. This is so great, though. Oh, my God. I mean, we could build our entire house out of gold at some point, you know? <laughs> I don't know if these are even useful or if it's worth breaking these, but I'm doing it. Okay, where's my boat? All right, it's getting light out again, so we should be able to hopefully gain our bearings very quickly here and find our way back home. We, we have to be going in the wrong direction. Is that another one that we just stumbled across? Oh my god, we're going to be loaded. How many of these? I got 20 blocks of gold so far. I mean, this is great. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of it, but... Better to have it and not need it, right? Thank you. Take that. I'll take that. I'll take all this good stuff. Thank you very much. All right, where's uh where did I where did I enter here? Oh, down here. Okay, all right, now that we have some decent light ahead of us, what is this? Oh, it looks like a boat. Okay. Oh my god, look, is that a village? <gasps> okay, all right, this made it all worth it. I'm definitely renaming this stream once we're done, because we did not spend nearly almost any time in there. Um, I don't think having a zombie nearby is a good idea. But this is awesome. We finally found our first village. Okay, um, real quick, I am just going to write down these coordinates so I don't lose where my position for this village. Give me one second here. So we are at 435.7 comma 2.5 comma Minus 787.4. Cool. Now I won't lose it. I should have done that for my home. <laughs> oh, cool. Hi, it's an iron golem. We have a bell. What's the bell do? Oh, well, I, I don't know why I, I was shocked about that. What's the bell do? It makes bell sounds. Oh, good. Yes. I'm going to steal this. I hope they don't get mad. I'll take the bread. I'll take the extra armor. Thank you very much. I'll take the iron pickaxe. What's this? A blast furnace? Whoa. I'm sure there's a reason for this. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to take it because I'll just spill lava all over the place and start a fire, but that's cool. Okay, so we got a stove. Hi! 
Will you trade with me? I got, I've got some money. Not very much, but I've got a little bit. No? Okay. We'll find somebody else then. I've got two emeralds. Oh, a music block. Oh, I'm definitely taking this because I got some records at home. Uh, maybe I have to cut it. Yeah. I'll take these two. I don't know what they are, but I'm taking them. What's this? Yeah, you know, I mean, imagine in real life if you were to just walk up to a random village and you're like, yeah, oh, cool. I like that. I'm just going to start taking that and that. <laughs> Um, I don't think... I'm trying to get rid of... I don't need the stairs. We'll get rid of that. Well, this is cool, but I don't see anybody to trade with, so... That's mildly disappointing. What is this? Looks like a kind of like, almost like a little, like, temple. I think that's what it's supposed to be. A brewing stand? On Minecraft, Bell is used to alarm villagers in case of mobs attack. Their item frames, you can display stuff on them. Okay, awesome. Thank you for the tip. You can drop the kelp. There's plenty around. Yeah, I, I figured as much. That's um, actually what I'm going to drop next as soon as I mine up this brewing stand here. Perfect. This was a really cool find. Alright, so I guess there was a purpose to getting lost. Even if I haven't found any villagers to trade with, at least now we know the location of the village. And I'm sure this will become more useful over time. What is this? Smoker? Well, we'll take the smoker. I don't know what it does, but we're going to take it. I'm just going to go through a couple more of these buildings and then we're going to head back out. What is this? What is that? Hello. Shepherd novice. For one emerald, you'll give me 18 white wool. That seems like a fair trade. So just one? Is that all you need? I'm going to get rid of the mushroom. Okay. So how do I do this? Do I have to give you two? No. Oh, he wants wool. Okay, I don't have any white wool for you. I'm sorry. I was reading that backwards. And I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to steal this from you. I don't know what it is, but it is a loom used to create banner designs. Okay. Interesting. What about you? You got something cool for me? You are also a shepherd novice. Cool. I don't have any wool for you. I guess we could check out the boat real quick and then we'll head back. And I guess for next stream, we'll go ahead and we'll do the uh we'll do the nether on the on the next stream just because we didn't get as well prepared until the end here. I thought we would be able to, you know, find some cool supplies very quickly. It just that just didn't really happen for us. Um, okay. You know, I don't like you. And I don't like that you could shoot me under the water here. Um, alright. I'll take that. Get rid of that. What is this? Shining template coast. I want to grab those map pieces too. Um, what don't I need? I don't need cobblestone, potatoes. I have potatoes at home. Let's try not to drown here. Um, okay. For some reason, I couldn't get above water. <laughs> okay. Um, paper, paper, iron, lapis lazul. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I already have a decent amount of iron. I would like more, but I don't know. I'm kind of full. I'm kind of full of stuff. 
Group the torches. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. You're right. I'll probably grab the lapis then because I don't have any lapis. So we'll take that. The paper I could just make. Iron nuggets and the emeralds. We'll take that. Thanks. That was a good catch, actually. I, I didn't even think about that. Oh, my boat's in the way. My boat's in way of the boat. All right, anything down here? Wow, it takes so long to cut something. All right. All right, more emeralds. We'll take all that. We'll take this. Okay, we got to get out of here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, we're not going to die here. I still want to grab that lapis real quick. Just going to get some health back. Wow, that... That bread is awesome. The melon slices, not so much. Oh, there's more. Awesome. Grab some of that. The paper. I don't really need the paper. All right. We'll go back down below one more time. Grab that lapis. I don't know what it does, but I'm, I'm sure it does something cool. All right. And now we'll, we'll try to head back home. I'm not a dev, just one of the previous maintainers. Are you a maintainer for MindTest or for um, for Vox Libre, uh, formerly known as MindClone? Oh, cool. We found a jungle biome. Well, I would definitely like to enchant items because anything that would prevent me from dying would be extremely helpful since I've done that only uh, several hundred times since the stream has, uh, since we've started doing these live streams. <laughs> oh, nice. That's so awesome. I'm glad you stopped in and checked out uh, the stream, even if you're a former maintainer. Um, I appreciate the work and your contributions to the game. This has been a lot of fun so far. I really enjoy it. And I, I'm a big proponent. Like, my entire YouTube channel is about just um, open source games, open source programs, open source social media. Um, so I really appreciate that a, a ton. And I'm sure this is a spawner. We got a, a music disc, Jordak Mind Test. Well, I kind of want that. I already have a saddle. I don't think I need another one. So I'm trying to just consider what I want. Uh, the rail. Get rid of the rail. I said get rid of the rail. We'll keep the disc. Now that we have a note block, we can actually use it for something. Am I just going up this river now? <laughs> I think I'm just getting myself more lost. Yeah, I saw that too. I have pumpkins growing at home, so I'm okay with that. There's definitely, I'm definitely got some decent loot back at my house if I can ever make my way back there. I feel like we're just, we're just getting more and more and more and more lost <laughs> as we continue. Which is both funny and also kind of tragic. Okay, all right, we're we're way, way off course. I have no idea where I am, and the sun is setting again, and we're heading into what seems to be endless ocean. Yeah, I hear you, Chief Wiggins. I don't know where we are either. At least we've got all of our loot. I just need one landmark. If I could just find one landmark, I would know exactly where I am. Do 
You're not lost though. Your coordinates were on the screen preview. I know. I just, I'm not going to stop the entire stream just to go backwards and figure out my coordinates. <laughs> so worst case scenario, what's realistically going to happen is around the two hour mark, I might end the stream and I will go backwards and then I will find my coordinates to my island because I did have them displayed earlier in the stream and I will just write them down and we'll do the smart thing. And going forward, anytime I find something cool, I'm just gonna write down the coordinates so this doesn't happen again. And hopefully these are one of the ones that we've rated before. If it is, then it's gonna get us back. Yeah, see those mobs are just V-lining it right for me. They just dived right into the water. Okay, so we haven't hit that one up yet, so... Huh. I guess we haven't been over here. I mean, maybe if I head towards zero, zero, I don't know if that's where you spawn in, but... Maybe if we head that direction, it'll bring us closer? I don't know, that's a, that's a guess. Coordinates are near zero, zero. Okay, all right. So I, I was right in that thinking. So let's just try to keep heading towards zero, zero then. And at least we're going down in position, so. Maybe we're going the right way. That's a big maybe. At the center of the world, okay. Well, we're not quite at the center of the world, but we're almost there. See, I don't recall seeing this. Okay, so now we're negative. So let's head back. Maybe it was back this way a little. It's so hard to see at night. Yes, it is a it is a Simpsons reference. Yes, it is. I could not help myself. Um, I grew up watching that show uh, in the 90s. And while I don't watch it actively anymore, it was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. Uh, my mom refused to let me watch it. Um, and I don't understand why, because as an adult, I don't I don't really feel it's that like bad like i went back and watched the episodes that my mom was so against me watching and i'm just like well wh what was the big deal about the simpsons i mean there was way worse shows out there um ironically she bought me the south park movie when that came out but she had a problem with the simpsons i i, I don't know if that was just like she didn't know what south park was and she just assumed it was just like a cartoon. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. Staying away from the creeper. That's what I think. Turn left here. Okay, well, I probably should have turned left uh, a minute ago. So I'm just going to backtrack a little bit and hopefully go left the way that you said. Because there is a significant delay on this stream. So I'm, I'm assuming that you're talking about this over here and I'll, I'll wait for you to, to chat again hopefully you know what you're talking about okay so when you chatted me i think i was in this position so hopefully that's right uh tried the mods yet um i've tried a couple of mods um i ended up disabling all of that because i was having performance issues I found out during this stream that it was the particle effects that were causing my frames to drop. So, yeah. I, all right, let's go this direction. Hopefully this is the right way to go. This looks familiar. I feel like we saw this on the way over here. Maybe we are getting close. I see a light source. That's a good sign. It's not my home though. Where is this? And why is it all lit up? Oh, it's another one of those things. 
on the other side of it. That's what it is. And I don't recognize that at all. What about you? Have I ever been in you? Okay, so we've been inside of this one. Because this is rated, so we've got to be close. Just keep an eye on your coordinates. Make sure you get close to zero, zero, both first X and then Z. Okay. I, I feel like, though, like since we went into that one, we have to be going somewhat the right direction. Unless I turn myself around again. So far, I mean, I've been able to get uh, ridiculous stacks of gold. It's just I found out very early on that um, gold armor and gold weapons are not the best. I thought they were going to be awesome. I was like, oh, wow, look, I got early access to the, like, all this great stuff. And then it just it didn't turn. I don't recognize that at all. What is this? Some random block generation? Very weird. Kind of cool, but I mean, it's just random. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's uh, turn ourselves back around and we'll just keep going this way. Hey, I said go this way. Hmm. I hear you, buddy. We'll find our way home. Don't you worry. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. I think I recognize this. If that is a crafting bench on top of this, I know exactly where I am. Okay, all right. All right, full stop. Turn around. I know where I am. Like I said, I just need one landmark, and I know exactly where to go from here. I think if we go this way around the island, it will bring me back home. I think. I'm not 100% sure. But we got to be close because I put that crafting bench on there. If, if I re recall correctly, it's got to be one of these islands here because I put that crafting bench on there. And I think if we keep going straight, we're going to find that little, um, little thing I made. Okay, that's a good sign over there. I see light. I think I think we're almost home. All right, whoever told me to tell, turn left, that was that was great advice. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're almost there. I remember putting that crafting bench on top of that temple at one point. Hey, there it is. With our glorious nether portal atop our fortress. Finally. Oh my god, that was a little bit of the odyssey. You know what? That's what I'm going to rename this stream once we're done. Not into the nether. Into, you know, the odyssey. <laughs> Because <laughs> we got lost on the ocean for quite a long and embarrassing amount of time. <laughs> we were like regular old Odysseus, lost on the ocean for several years. All right, cool. So let's put down some of this cool stuff that we found. And I guess the item frames. Well, we'll just, I guess we'll put them here for now. I don't really know what to do with them. It's kind of neat. And we'll put this here. I think that's for the, that's the loom. Where is the jukebox? Right there. And then I should be able to grab the disc and put it inside. 
Oh, that's cool. I wonder if Dark Raven has any of his music in a disc like that. Or I wonder if I can load it into the game. I've got a couple of these discs too. I think most of them are the same, but... Sound Helix, The Evil Sister. Okay, I just want to try it just because I'm curious now. Oh, that one's kind of cool. Uh, do we have anything we want to smelt? Not really. Absolutely just stacked with loot now. This is awesome. Okay, uh, a barrel? I don't know what the barrel does. And we got a smoker too, and I don't know what the smoker does either. But we're gonna find out. Anvil. I guess we could put the anvil back where it was originally. And then... The brewing stand. This is cool. I've never messed with this before. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with it. I don't even know how it works. Yeah, that would be really cool. You know, um, maybe maybe I'll talk to uh, some of the contributors uh, for the game and see how we can add an item like that and just have your music on discs. I would be more than happy to install those files locally and I'll play some of the musics um, that you've, you've produced for the game. That would be so cool. Oh yes, I agree too. Getting lost is great, but um, coming home is even greater. That, I gotta say though, this, this track that I found is actually not bad. I'm gonna keep it going for a minute, even though it's a little loud. All right, I still don't know what these things are. I've gotten two kinds now, Smithing Template Century and Smithing Template Coast. But I don't I don't know what they are or what they do. All right, we got extra stuff here. Material, material. I'll put the emeralds back. I'll put the cursed fishing rod away cuz I'm probably not going to end up using that. And we'll put the saddle in here. The barrel. His marine. Name tag. And the lapis. Well, that's got to go in. I'll put it in here for now. This is actually pretty catchy. I, I kind of like it. Uh, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, me too. This is really good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the watermelon in the item frame just cause I'm curious to see how it works. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, so I can put some bread here too? Okay, cool. What about a torch? Okay, I don't know why you'd wanna put a torch there, but you could. We gotta put something cooler. Um, We'll use one of the arrows, why not? And then, uh. A potato, of course. There we go. That looks great. Okay, this is cool. I'm keeping this one going for a while. The smithing template allows you to add trimming to your armor pieces. Would I do that through the forge? All right, so I guess since we've gotten a bunch of stuff, I'm gonna take one more quick peek into the nether since we've got about 10 minutes left anyways uh, for this stream. And we'll see what we can do inside the nether. We've got plenty of food, we've got good supplies, and hopefully this time I can actually kill a couple of these mobs. I just don't wanna swan dive off my side of my building. Wow, okay, and immediately I'm getting attacked. Whoa, 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 whoa! I, yes, okay, okay, yeah, wow, we are in trouble already. 
All right, we're out of here. That was a fun excursion. Can I can I leave now? Or are we gonna die? I think that's what's gonna end up happening here. Damn it. Can I kite you guys away for a second? Oh my God, there's so many of you out of nowhere. Okay, we are not at all prepared to deal with the nether. Come on, out, yes, oh my God. That was insane. Okay, so I guess the last 10 minutes in the nether is not what we're gonna be doing because I almost died instantly going inside of it again. I really wanna explore it though. I'm so excited to go in there, but I just, I feel like I'm not prepared. Make sure you don't die in the lava. Yeah, I was worried about that too when I was running around there. I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to find diamond armor and maybe a couple of enchantments of some kind. I, I don't know really how to do enchantments yet, but now that we have a brewing stand too, we, we should be able to craft some stuff that'll hopefully make me a little sturdier inside of the nether. But I think just going in there with unenchanted iron armor is really what's putting us in a bad position and why we're not able to like last more than two minutes in there. I just don't think we're, we're quite ready for nether yet. We need diamond swords. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I went in there with a stone sword, so I'm not exactly sure what I was expecting. Um, well, I know what I was expecting. I was like, oh, that's where the bed went. I was like, what happened to that other bed that we we said we were going to bring with us? That, there it goes. Okay, well, that was, that was smart numbers. Good move. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick peek around our own backyard real quick since we only got a couple minutes left and I, I don't want the, the stream to go over two hours at this point. Um, I do want to try to keep the streams at about the two hour mark. I think two hours is the right balance. So I was starting off originally at one hour streams and I think that's just slightly too short. I think two hours gives enough time for us to explore, do a couple of different things, um, but still keeps the, um, the streams for anybody who wants to watch later on manageable uh, or at least watchable still. Okay, I, I keep coming back over to this area. This is where we found the most diamonds so far. So let's just take a quick peek back over here. And now that we don't have frame rate issues anymore, maybe we'll do a little bit better in this area. Hey, and th that's what I said. There's that crafting bench over there. Off in the far distance. And that's, like I said, um, I'm glad I left that there. And in fact, you know what I'm going to do from now on is whenever I go into one of these towers, I'm going to place a, a torch on top of them. That way, if I get lost in the ocean again, I can at least see one with a torch on top of it. And that would probably be a good way to find my way back. Um, also right now too, would be a good time to write down my coordinates, um, which I think was like pretty much zero, zero already. Ah, uh, let's go into the cave. I want to do something fun. Not going to waste our last couple of minutes just messing around. And the shipwrecks. All right, let's see here. Hold on. Let me catch up on chat. We need diamond swords and armor. Ocean structures are likely to have diamonds, so always mine the top of the ocean temples. And shipwrecks can also have hidden chests. This is actually really good feedback. And once I write my coordinates down, hopefully we never get lost again and we can go out a little bit more ocean exploring since this is like a very islandy seed. And what's really funny about this seed too is I just typed it in randomly. Like when I started the very first episode, I was like, okay, anybody want to follow along with this seed? Here's the random number I typed in and it ended up being a really awesome one. All right, every time we've gone down here, the slimes start to spawn and they overwhelm me very quickly. So we're going to very quickly move through this area because, yeah, right there. It just spawns in instantly. We're going to run right past him. I didn't get a chance to go over here and even get the gold last time. Hi, I see you. Except I have a shield now, so I'm not as scared of you as I used to be. There we go. Easy. 
That armor is also really helpful. Oh, is there a spawner here? Is that why there's so many mobs in this area? That's probably going to explain it. Let's fix that real quick. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, all right, first things first. We get rid of that. <laughs> I don't think they like me. And I don't think they like that I destroyed their spawner, but too bad. I mean, it's not like we need more gold. I literally have, like, hundreds of blocks of it. I do want this iron, though. Yes, yes, yes. I'm ignoring you guys. Hopefully you'll despawn and you'll never come back. Ow! Do you mind? That's not very nice of you. Oh my god, there's a zombie behind me. Oh, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. I'll just take all these arrows. There's more of you in there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna mess around with you guys. We're we're leaving. We're going over here. And hopefully we find more. Oh Hi, Mr. Creeper. Except this I don't trust you. Is there any way I can get you to blow up without blowing me up? If I put my shield up, will that work? Oh, maybe we can just do this. <laughs> okay, I you know what? I'll accept that as a favorable outcome. I very rarely destroy spawners. I light them up, and if I want to use them later to farm those mobs, they're great to have. I wish I knew that before I destroyed, like, five of them already. I didn't even know you could set up a mob farm. Like, that's a thing. Like I said, um, for anybody who's not at all familiar with myself or my channel um, or any of my past streams, I have not played a lot of Minecraft. Like when I played Minecraft, um, it was still very new um, and I, I mostly played it because my, my sister loved the game and she was little and I set up my first server so she could play on it um, and I just kind of messed around with the game. She's the one who played Minecraft. I see a little baby zombie over there. I'm ready for you. Yeah, with this armor, we're definitely doing a lot better. Still want diamonds, though. Come on. Can you just die? I can't even... Oh, there, there you go. You're dead. Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We've bitten off a little bit more than we could chew here. Time to leave. Ow. Stop hitting me with your arrows. What, you're riding the spider? <laughs> oh, God, this is bad. Okay, we're in a bad spot. We're in a bad spot. We need to get out of here. Run, run, run. Don't die, don't die, don't die. There's so many mobs here. Oh, we are screwed. Absolutely screwed. Come on, we can get out of here. Not the potatoes, bread, bread, bread. We need bread. Oh my God, that was way too close for comfort. Um, Blocks, 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 there we go. Okay, let's get back home before we end up getting ourselves killed again. That's pretty good. This 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 little cavern is worth exploring more. I think it's just worth exploring more. Oh, it's nighttime. That's also probably contributing to the issues that we're having. Uh, maybe if I just dig a little hole and sleep, we can just make it night. I mean, uh, daytime again. I don't know if this will work. I'm going to try. It's probably going to complain that there's too many monsters nearby. Oh, wow, that actually worked. 
Yeah, I thought it was the end of me for as well. Like, I'm pretty shocked that we survived through it. I'm I'm gonna say it was the armor, and I probably just ate just enough food in time to survive that. <laughs> but I also thought it was it was game over there. I guess luck is on our side after all. We got lost and then we got found. We entered the nether and we survived it several times. And we went home with tons of loot in our pocket. So while we didn't get what we set out to do, which was to explore the nether in this stream, at least we got a lot done and a lot accomplished. And I mean, that's all you can really hope for whenever you play a game like uh, a game like Minecraft, which is <laughs> Vox Libre. <laughs> I'm still not used to say, oh my God, no, ah. Okay. <sighs> I still can't fix my own stupidity, but you know, at least luck is on our side <laughs> to help me out with that. Yeah, anytime I don't die, I consider myself extremely lucky. I know we came this way. Why Why do I always have to return back in the most difficult way possible? There we go. This seems like the smart way to go. All right. This is such a cool little starter island that we found though. I'm I'm really happy with this seed and with this playthrough so far. I mean, for somebody who doesn't know much about Minecraft and all of the help that you have given me has made progress. Oh, by the way, this was one of the spawners I destroyed that I was mentioning a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, this was like one of the first ones I found and I was like, yeah, I'll just get rid of that. I don't need a bunch of monsters near me. <laughs> Monsters, who needs that? I'm gonna look into those farms that you were talking about with the spawners. Hey, we're home. You can always tell by that ridiculous nether portal that I decided to build on my on the top of my house. All right, can I, can I make it if I jump into the water or am I still gonna take damage? I guess that still kinda counted as damage. All right, so we are back home. We are at the two hour mark. So that's where I'm gonna call this stream. Uh, maybe a bridge would be a fun thing to build. Could be, oh yeah, that's actually probably a good idea. We're gonna have to do that on next stream. So for anybody who is watching right now, um, I will be streaming again. I stream uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you wanna catch this again, I will be streaming again. Um, if you made it all the way to the end of this live stream, or if you're watching this after the fact and you are you made it all the way to the end, I would greatly appreciate a like. But other than that, I hope everyone out there has a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.